I really don't think, honestly, that most Angelinos understand the seismic danger that we're under. Southern California, I have been in many earthquakes. I was in the Northridge earthquake back in 1994. Give me a pin. You tell we got monitors knocked off. Okay. Oh my God, he's in there! Get it! Hey, it could explode at any minute. Get out of the house. Go across the street. Back your way to the I heard a little one. <sighs> Just watching them died. In there. That's scary. I feel bad. Uh, we're concerned about Northridge size earthquakes for the very reason is that that earthquake did tens of billions of dollars of damage and caused multiple deaths. And the problem is, is that earthquake happened right underneath a highly urbanized area. So those earthquakes, while quite a bit smaller, so the Northridge earthquake is, is about 50 times smaller than the magnitude 7.8 earthquake that's being talked about as the big one. Downtown Los Angeles sits on soft soils, that's why we call it the LA Basin, and it is basically a big bowl of jello. And that bowl of jello, just like if you take a bowl of jello and hit it with a rubber mallet, that jello is gonna go back and forth, back and forth. I'm the owner of Bay Cities Construction. Uh, I've been a contractor for 15 years. I specialize in residential construction. So I do uh, remodeling, home additions. We do seismic retrofitting, anything that's wood frame construction. That's been our specialty over the last 15 years. This housing represents a significant amount of low income housing, meaning that because of rent control, people have been locked into rents as low as $550 a month. 550 to maybe $850 a month. There, there is no unit available under current market prices that are, is in that price point. So the big, the big threat to a socioeconomic divide or socioeconomic impact would be that a significant amount of these housing units are lost. Because if the building's red tagged, the people have to move out. So they're gonna be displaced during the time that the building is either demolished and rebuilt to the new standard or that it's repaired. Either case, they're gonna to have to move. They, they cannot stay in the building. So the big impact is if we did nothing, particularly the peripheral cities around LA, if those cities don't 
adopt some type of, of an ordinance to get these buildings retrofitted, we have a very big problem. You know, without being kind of a bummer about this stuff, I think we have to get to the point where we are aware of the threat and then we can be proactive about what we do to mitigate it. We have to get to the point where we're thinking, hey, you know, it is smart to put a seismic gas shut off on my house, even though it's my house, it's not mandated to do it. Um, maybe we have to get to the point where we voluntarily bolt down the houses. When we start taking responsibility for our own situation, I think that we'll all be in a better place. Um, I'm homeless. I lived on the second floor, which used to be three store stories, and now I'm on the first floor with no apartment, no food, no anything except my life, which is the most important part. So I'm lucky to be alive. I have just a scratch and a, a bruised back, but other than that, I'm, I'm fine. What's the most valuable thing you lost in there? My, my, my neighbors. My next door neighbors didn't make it. So uh, the neighbors were the most valuable thing I lost.